It took five years of struggling to finally have my first six figure year in business. And I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to make the switch so much faster than I did. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. Hey, boudoir photographers, are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn, and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business, working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there, and welcome back to the Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography podcast. When I started my business back in 2013, all I wanted to do was build a photography business that could replace my nine to five and my salary. I hated watching the dentist I was working for make so much money while I worked so hard. All the while, I was watching him take vacation after vacation after vacation, and I spent all the time taking care of his patients. Sure, He went to dental school. He deserved to make the money that he made. He deserved the time off. And I know that his bills were higher than mine, but it didn't make me not resent watching him travel so much, you know? I wanted that. Anyway, as badly as I wanted to get out of my nine to five, I didn't have a clue how to make this happen. It really took me four years to hit my first five figures in my photography business. And it took me five years to build a business that could support me and help me hit my first six figures. The thing is, I don't want that to happen to you. I want you to make the switch so much faster than I did. I want you to experience time and money freedom as fast as possible. So what I want to do today is break down what this could look like in your business. The first step to becoming a six-figure boudoir photographer is to set the future of your business. Now, that probably sounds confusing, But to get where you want to go, you really need a roadmap to make it actually happen. So let's talk about the things that you need to know. The first thing is what do you need to make per month to make this your full-time job? And the second thing, how many hours can you work per week and how many weeks per year will you take vacation? Those are very important things and you need to be honest with yourself. If you can only work 10 hours a week, be honest about it. And it's totally fine. We just need you to be upfront about it so that we can truly set the foundation of your business. Now, if you have kids and you need to take three months off because they're going to be out of school for the summer and you need to take care of them, you know that they're going to need your full attention. Be honest with yourself and give yourself that time. For one thing, they're only little that long. And for another, it's hard to hit your goals if you can't honestly put the time and effort into your business that you actually say that you can. So, Be honest with yourself with what you can do when you're setting your goals so you can set yourself up for success and actually hit your goals. The third thing you need to know is how long does it take per client? So on average, most photographers spend about 40 hours per wedding from initial contact to delivery of the product. And for portraits, it's about eight hours from initial contact to delivery. And honestly, most photographers who I've coached are more at that four to six hour range because we've refined their experience and their workflows so much. Now, by knowing these things, especially your salary goal, you can calculate your revenue goal, how much you need to bring in per year to be able to pay yourself your salary. And you know this from knowing what your salary goal is. So all you have to do is calculate your salary plus your expenses. Now, another thing that you will know is what your ideal schedule is going to look like for the year. And you know this because you know how many hours you can work, as well as how many clients your hours worked can handle. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but bear with me. And the third thing that you're going to know from this is your actual sales average goal, which is your revenue goal divided by the number of clients your schedule can handle. So your sales average goal is very important because this is what you are going to build your price list around to help you hit your revenue goal. And that's all you need to know to build out the future of your business. The second step to becoming a six-figure boudoir photographer is to create an amazing, easy experience for your clients. From start to finish, the experience you provide needs to be very seamless. Think about a bad experience you've had in the past. Like for example, at a restaurant, and we've all had bad experiences at a restaurant, right? Like just last week, I was at a Texas Roadhouse and it was it was a Wednesday night, but you know, it's Texas Roadhouse, so they were very busy. And we ordered, I got my margarita, I was feeling great. And um, I ordered my food, 
they brought my steak out to me before they brought my salad. And I don't know about you, but I love Texas Roadhouse salads. And so there I was eating my steak and got like I missed my favorite part of the meal. (laughs) Like sure, the steak's great, but that salad is amazing. So that happened to me. And my, I mean, my experience wasn't ruined, but it wasn't the best part. Like I felt like the best part of my meal was skipped. So I have told the podcasting world right now, anyone who's listening to this podcast now knows that I had a really bad experience at that particular Texas Roadhouse. But the thing is, I'm also telling everyone about my great experiences at different restaurants. Like my favorite East Tennessee restaurant is Aubrey's and they've never disappointed me. That's how important it is to make sure that your clients have a great experience because yeah, you want them to be happy, but they're also going to be telling their friends about their experience with you, whether it was good or bad. So you better make sure that they have the best experience possible. And I'm talking from initial contact to delivery of the product. They need to have the best experience that you can give them. One thing that my clients have always told me is that they love how professional yet warm my entire process is. I always make sure they know exactly what's going to happen, when and how, and they even know most of my processes are automated, yet they still like it. Yet they still feel like it's all very warm, personal and professional. They feel very loved and welcome in the studio, yet I run everything extremely efficiently. And my turnaround time is very, very fast. They love the whole experience I provide because it's very professional. And that's what you want to make sure that you do. Run a smooth, professional experience so that your clients leave very happy and they tell all their friends about how great you are. Hey, I write a newsletter every week where I cover photography, business, marketing, strategy, industry happenings, client wins and celebrations, and so much more. It is just for you and you can get on the list right now at rebrand.ly slash TLC newsletter and I will link that in the show notes as well. The third step to becoming a six-figure boudoir photographer is to create album-worthy images and more importantly, to create them in a super efficient way. First and foremost, You are a business owner. You need to run your sessions as a business owner. So what I want you to do is create a sequence of poses that you do every single session in the same order. Now you might think that that is going to feel like you are repeating sessions. Your clients are going to be like, no, I don't like that. Like I don't want my session to look just like Sally's down the street. But these poses are very intentional. And that's what I want you to think about. Like you are doing very intentional poses. So I like to start with my icebreaker poses. There are four of them. These poses were created to get clients very comfortable very quickly, build their trust and confidence in me. And they also need to see how amazing they're going to look really quickly. So that's why I go with these icebreaker poses. There's four different poses, but the client has to really listen to get into the pose, yet they're still easy to do. And then after each one, I just make sure that I show her the back of the camera. And by the time we've made it through those four poses, she 100% trusts me. After those initial poses, I finish my normal sequence, knowing that she trusts me, and then I'm going to get everything I need to sell an album. And I'll make sure that I'm at the sales average I need to make because these poses, like I said, they're very intentional. And they are also the poses that I know most of my clients purchase. So they're really good. And I know that she's going to want them. I literally run every session exactly the same, doing all the same poses every single session. Sometimes I'm going to add more poses in, but my repeating guaranteed poses are great for all body types. And I make sure that at minimum, those poses are photographed. It, the one thing that I want you to know, if you're doing a posing sequence, and this is what I recommend for anyone who is very creative. I'm not the most creative person. I like to have a very efficient sequence for everything. Um, But if you want to be very creative, then I really recommend, say your sessions are 60 minute sessions, 50 minutes of those are your posing sequence. The last 10 minutes, you can have creative freedom so that you're still having fun during the session, but you are more importantly get the, getting the poses that you need to make the sale. N- having this posing sequence really helps me go into a session without needing to prep more. I already know the poses that I'm going to do, so I'm not so tired after every single session. And that's a really good thing. It's very important for me. 
when I'm shooting and not my associate, I stack my sessions. So I need to make sure that I'm not going to be exhausted after every single session. I'm just one of those people that I do better when I batch things. I need to get in a mindset to get everything done at once. And I work so much more efficiently and to be honest, better if I'm already in that mindset. There's one more thing that I think that you need to become a six-figure boudoir photographer, and that's to create a portfolio that's going to attract the kind of client that you want to photograph. If you don't have a portfolio that your ideal client can visualize herself in, it's going to be really hard to book her. That's why it's so important to build a portfolio of eye-catching images. You want her to see those images in your portfolio, whether that's on your website, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever, and she needs to want to be that model. So make sure you listen to last week's episode to hear more about building your portfolio. It's a really good episode and I really dove deeper into building your portfolio. Now, if you only get one thing from this episode, I want you to understand that these three things have to be in place before you ever start marketing your photography business. If you start marketing heavily and you don't have these three foundational pieces in place, your business will never grow. You need to make sure that you have your pricing down. You're creating an amazing experience for every one of your clients and you are creating album worthy images to be able to sell albums at those higher prices you're demanding. If you don't have those pieces in place, you're going to disappoint clients and they will tell their friends and family or leave reviews that won't help you grow your business. And more importantly, you need to set the foundation of your business so you can create a profitable and sustainable business for yourself, your family, your lifestyle. If this is something that you're ready to do for 2024, then you really need to be at my free training, The Secrets of the Boudoir Industry. You're going to learn what it's really like to work as a boudoir photographer. The good, the bad, the totally untrue. That's right. I'll be digging into a few of the most common pieces of advice for the industry. And you're going to find out if they're fact, fiction, and why it matters to your business. And make sure you stay till the end. I'm going to be showing you how to put a plan together that helps you not only drive business, but keeps you working how you want, when you want, and where you want and with who you want, also known as your dream clients. It is January 24th at 1 p.m. Central. You're not going to want to miss it. And more importantly, you're going to want to make sure that you're there live because I'm going to be giving away something valued at $500 and you have to be attending live in order to be eligible to win. So if you are interested, make sure you come. Just click the link in the show notes to join. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. Please be sure to rate and follow so that you never miss an episode. They drop every Thursday and they're always full of super actionable information for you to apply right now in your boudoir business. Until then, make your next shoot your best shoot.